The following communications are those of Airstrike Pole Vault co-founder M. Thomas Toledo, whose quest began in 1991 as a concerned parent for the purpose of eliminating flawed traditional pole vault teachings that continued to kill, paralyze, and otherwise seriously injure naive, ill-fated victims of track and field's pole vault. December 10, 2014. I received an email message from Rice University pole vault coach David Butler, writing as a member of the USA National Pole Vault Development Staff. As it turns out, Mr. Butler is also a renowned, lethal, traditional pole vault expert who is closely associated with the principles involved in the manufacturing of UCS Spirit Pole Vault Poles, the world's most lucrative seller. Mr. Butler's December 10, 2014 message to me reads verbatim as follows. There is no greeting. Mr. Butler simply abruptly begins his message exactly as quoted here. Quote, this is David Butler of Rice University and the USA National Pole Vault Development Staff. I have some questions about some of your statements and concerns about technical aspects of the pole vault. I've spent six summers in Italy under the mentorship of Vitaly Petrov, and I am also concerned about your comments about his or Bubka's success or failure of teaching stroke practicing the pole vault. Could you email me your philosophy and what you do that the rest of the world is not doing? With 35 years' experience and high respect all over the world, I am always seeking knowledge. David Butler End quote. The following day, December 11, 2014, after receiving the information that Mr. Butler had requested from me, Mr. David Butler of Rice University and the USA National Pole Vault Development Staff then emailed to me his following sarcastically soiled, condescending response to the facts I had provided him. Quote, So let me get this right. 1. You believe the vaulter must be airborne before the tip strikes the box? 2. You advocate pulling the pole around or holding the flex side off to the left for right-handed vaulter at takeoff? 3. You believe that Petrov, and therefore the Bubka model, is wrong? Could you give me a short bio on you? I don't believe we have ever met at the summit or podium meetings. Where do you coach? Who have you worked with? Have you visited my site called artofthevault.com? A lot of film study there. David. End quote. My December 11, 2014 response to Mr. Butler contained my following statement. Quote, I don't know who you think you are, but if you are so certain that your pole vault knowledge is so effective, let's debate your ideas while allowing mine to also be heard. I invite you to meet me in person, to put your money where your mouth is, and let me counter each of your expert, proven, deadly misconceptions with my own proven facts. Otherwise, please don't waste my time with your condescending, childish, close-minded, deceptive behavior. End quote. Thursday, July 30th, 2015, seven months and three weeks following my December 11, 2014 memorandum to Mr. Butler, Austrian female pole vaulter Kira Grunberg was catastrophically injured when paralyzed while applying Rice University coach David Butler's lethal traditional pole vault teachings. Additionally, seven months and two weeks preceding Kara Grunberg's senseless pole vault tragedy, seven days following my December 11, 2014 memorandum to Mr. Butler, I sent one more warning to Coach Butler on December 18, 2014, which clearly chronicles the reasons why the lethal traditional pole vault catastrophe that later paralyzed Kira Grunberg on July 30, 2015, was absolutely avoidable. My December 18, 2014 message to Coach Butler, to which he did not respond, contained my following statements of fact and solemn warnings. Quote, there are a few major faults with your side stance. Statistics do not lie. Physical evidence does not lie. The obvious fact is, 
Perilous traditional pole vault flaws are the proven cause of needless deaths and catastrophic injuries evidenced by mounting volumes of videos, blog posts, and articles that continue popping up all over the Internet, which support my own side of this matter. Today, it is impossible for athletic establishment elites to further prevent the inevitable exposure of their provable ill-conceived notions that produce documented irreversible suffering and deaths of vaulters using primitive traditional pole vault methods. As I told you before, my mission is to prevent further senseless injuries and deaths that are the result of primitive foolish traditional pole vault philosophies I have dealt with firsthand and can prove beyond any doubt are deadly. I remind you, my own son was victimized by this arrogant foolishness and we are fortunate to have avoided worse consequences. This is not a joke. I don't find anything regarding pole vault deaths and injuries to be amusing or profitable. I am deadly serious when I say, there but for the grace of God go I, because it was the grace of God 23 years ago that blessed us with the wisdom to recognize your concepts are completely wrong and injurious. End of quote. Again, Mr. Butler never responded to my December 18, 2014 catastrophic warnings and predictions that his lethal traditional pole vault teachings would continue negligently causing death, paralysis, and serious injury to gullible young men and women in the future. You now see on your screen my August 6, 2015 message that I sent to Mr. Butler containing only the Kira Grunberg paraplegic article link I had just recently discovered. Clearly visible on your screen is also my email subject title to Mr. Butler, quote, Latest Publicized Lethal Injury, end quote. Here, you can see for yourself Rice University pole vault coach David Butler's response to my email message of August 6, 2015. Even after pole vault victim Kira Grunberg's preventable tragedy occurred, applying Mr. Butler's lethal, traditional pole vault teachings, Mr. Butler's response to my message is, quote, and what is your point, end quote. My point, in response to Mr. Butler, is to expose the conscienceless, lethal, abject stupidity rooted deep within the minds of those who continue to negligently propagate traditional, archaic, pole vault teachings that needlessly paralyzed Kira Grunberg. Please, keep in mind, my mission to stop this deadly, irresponsible foolishness began when I pointed out this negligence to UCS Spirit Vaulting Pole Manufacturing in 1991. Thus, now 25 years later, I am still obligated to pose my original question. How many more avoidable injuries and deaths will it take to finally warrant the elimination of track and field's fallacious, lethal, traditional pole vault teachings? Sincerely, M. Thomas Toledo